Okay, so we have this B2, which is the discussion and approval of next steps, which as we already said is very broad. Um, but should we first take, do we have public comment on this? You do, Madam Chair, and um, Tom Hannes, and also Antonio um, has left the room. Okay, Mr. Hannes. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank the board members for their consideration of potential attorneys this evening. Um, if you're expecting the attorneys to make a presentation, I think you should tell them how long a presentation you're expecting. Mm -hmm. um, if the attorneys have not received the two Dennis Clay documents, I think they should receive those in any um, I think you should make sure that the attorneys can clearly understand and just their scope basically repeated for them, make sure they're very clear on what the scope of their assignment would be. Mm -hmm. And each subcommittee sub member, I think, needs to have carefully thought out their three or four most important questions to so ask. I was, I was too needs to have carefully thought out their three or four most important questions so they'll be ready for, for them. Hopefully, we'll ask generally the same question to both, to both mm -hmm. attorneys in addition to so additional answers. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, it looks like Mr. Medrano's not here, but. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I hadn't thought about that, about having the, um, giving them the, I would think you probably mean the executive summary of the plate right. document, because the material the itself is. Give them the CD disc. extent that it's publicly available, I don't think there's an issue in your providing it. Um, I've seen this handled in a lot of different ways. Some mm -hmm. do it as a test because you don't want to give materials and you want to see if they go and they read about it online. Mm -hmm. Others like to give it in advance and say, you've seen it, what exactly would you have to do? You know, what would the next steps be? And there's, there's pluses and minuses of both of them. Um, I know from our standpoint, if it was already on your website, we would have already found it long before now. sent it to them, but we told them exactly where they could find it. If that, if that, we, you know, if that is a, uh, an easier, a less, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, they still find it, but we tell them how to do it, so we're really not putting ourselves out there. Well, let me, let me clarify, if the district has not made it available, mm -hmm. and has consciously not made it available, then this committee probably does because there would be reasons, and that was not a, something mm -hmm. that I was involved with, so I'm not familiar with it, but if there were specific reasons for the district not to do so, that may be reasons for the committee not to do so. Can you share any information about that? I know we have not put it on the website mm -hmm. yet. Um, I'm not sure if there's an employee issue um, due to that or not. Oh. I, would, I, would have to, I would have to check on that. Um, but the description of the role of the attorney gather the background information on those firms, work with the subcommittee to narrow the list of the qualified firms, and also during that process, review the employee complaint from a legal perspective 